let's uh, start our session right so in our last session we have discussed about the division tax fund tax and uh, after that we have also discussed about the meta tax various attributes in the meta tax and uh, also we have discussed about the anchor tag images right then picture tag figure tag all these tags are we have discussed in our previous sessions right so all these are very important tags right today uh, we are going to start with the font tag so as it is uh, as this particular tag is deprecated in html5 but you should know uh, how to use that if you want right so suppose if you are going to follow some older version of html then you have to go for this particular tag right so how you can specify the font tag what is the use of what is the necessity of font tag right so suppose say for example i want to make this enclosed tag just a minute okay right so suppose say for example if i want to make this particular text color as a green right or a blue or whatever style if i want to set so what kind of attributes you can set you can set the color you can set the face and you can also set the size right so you can set the size between 1 to 7 right and 3 is the default right apart from 7 whatever you said it will be look like that same okay so this kind of three attributes you can set for the font tag right so whatever tag suppose if i want to make a style for this enclosed tag then i need to write font then i be i need to put this and close the font right so i hope you can understand how to use this okay so this is the font tag another deprecated tag is a uh, center tag right so what is the meaning of that center tag so center the enclose elements horizontally on the page right so as you look this particular title right so this title is in the center so suppose in a web page if you want to make anything in the center horizontally center right so at that time you can just go for the center tag right but normally now people are using a particular css styles okay so we'll see a uh, example of font tag but before that i want to discuss some special characters right so what is the need of these special characters right so as we know that white space right this is a white space white spaces are not considered in html right so suppose if i want to write w and then i want to put some space and then i want to write d right so if suppose i am writing this particular thing in a paragraph tag like this w then space d and then p so what will be the output of this code wd it is in a same right so white spaces are truncated in this particular html right but suppose if i want output like this w space d right so for that i need to go for this non breaking space and it is denoted by m person nbsp m person nbsp right so this is the use for that so similarly if you want to put any of this particular special symbols right suppose this sand symbols is not there then this pound symbol is not there yen symbol euro right 
પછી આફ્ટર દેટ સમ કોપી રાઇટ સિમ્બોલ્સ આર દેર સો ઇફ યુ વોન્ટ ટુ પુટ સમ સ્પેશિયલ કાઇન્ડ ઓફ સિમ્બોલ્સ ઇન ટુ યોર ટેક્સ ઓર ડિસ્ક્રિપ્શન એની વેર દેન યુ હેવ ટુ યુઝ ધીસ પર્ટિક્યુલર નોટેશન્સ સો યુ હેવ ટુ રિમેમ્બર ધીસ રાઈટ ફોર લેસ દેન ઇટ ઇઝ ધીસ ફોર ગ્રેટર દેન ધીસ એમ પર્સન કોર્ટ્સ એપોસ્ટોપી રાઈટ so similarly you can use this kind of special characters in html here also some of the notations are there copyright registered mark if you have observed some sometimes uh, people are putting that so you can put this particular symbols with the use of this entity names okay right so that is all about the font tag and some special characters okay here in this particular slide i have put some examples right but uh, here you can see this particular example if i want to uh, display the equations like this right so you can just practice it for right okay so before going to the list let's first of all discuss a font tag and then we'll jump on to the list portion right so here this is the particular example for the font tag okay right so what is this here we have a heading right this is font tag example okay side by side let me open the particular uh, you can say output so you can understand okay so you can also provide the style in a mini, uh, minus negative so what will happen your font size will be going to decrease right so here you can see this is 2 if i make it 1 then this if i make it 0 then it look it doesn't have any meaning if i make it 2 then makes bigger if i make it 4 then it makes bigger right so whatever uh font size so that's why people are not right now using this particular style right so you can see over here this numbering are sometimes not preferable so suppose if i put zero then it makes a neg uh, like a zero impact right okay then i make a one then there is no impact on that when i make two right then some impact is there so some of the browsers are not supporting properly these particular sizings so nowadays people are going for the css styles right so in a different styles you can just define your particular font size okay so here you can see this we have set the arial for the font face right and we have set this particular color so this is about the font tag now if we go for a different css styles right so this is a pretty much good uh you can say styling so here you can see you have to use a style attribute and then you have to go for a font size at a uh, well key this is a, you can say key value pair you can say that it's a columns right so font size or you can also say it's a property right font property and uh, whatever different units are there to define the font size so these are the different unit it's a em right for pt that is a point pixel okay and 100% right so sometimes if you have also observed this kind of different units in the particular photoshop kind of stuff right softwares so in that there may be in a pixel points whatever so there is a difference between each and every unit okay so according to your responsive nature of your particular web page or according to your requirement you have to use this particular units right so normally we are going for pixel or we are going for em right so em so whenever you are uh, you have a uh, issues with the scaling right so at that time em is the choice for that okay unit so and uh, also you can define this particular font size in a pixels okay and uh, also you can provide it's 100% but we are not preferring to provide the font size in percentages okay right 
so people are using em and pixel okay so if you go in a detail then you will find the difference between point and pixel okay and uh, you can also find the difference between em and point right so it's a scalar and all that stuff so we don't need to worry about that if you want then you can go and search that things in a detail right but normally we are going to use em or pixel in our notations right okay so this is about the particular font type okay now let's uh, jump on to the next topic and this is very much important topic right so here we are going to discuss about the list right so sometimes if you want to put uh, some list kind of stuff into your particular thing you into your web page right so when what happens over here so there are number of tags for building a list it serves the purpose of improving the readability of the text right so obviously whenever we are going to note down some steps whenever we are going for some important points right so we are putting in a bullets right so it increases the readability right another use of this particular uh, list is you can create a navigation right you can also create a horizontal navigation or you can create a particular vertical navigation right so with the use of anchor tag combination with the anchor tag you can make a particular thing as a navigation right so this is another use of this particular list but normally right now we are only discussing about the particular regular usage of the list okay so depending on the way the list items are displayed list may be divided into three types right so first is unordered list so when you go for the unordered list whenever the ordering is not important ordering is not important so at that time you can just go for the unordered list ordered list means whenever the orders are required suppose if you are explaining some process in a steps right and uh, and in that particular steps first you have to follow this then this then this so this kind of sequence if you want to maintain then you just use go uh, for the order list and description list or a definition list right and that is denoted by dl right so suppose say for example if i want to uh, as we are writing so suppose it's a title wd right and then i want to make i want to write some description of this particular wd or web development so if i want to go for this kind of styling then you can just go for the description so here you can define the term and here you can define the definition okay right so for this kind uh, for this purpose you are going for this so this is the difference between each and every list type right so let's go for that individually first we are going for order list so numbered or order list are used when the sequence of items is important it is specified using ol tag right and individual items in a list are specified using li tag okay so here you can observe that we have used ol tag here ol tag is your root tag for the particular order list and whatever list items you want to define that is within li right so if you observe <coughs> the output of this then it will be like this displayed as like this by default the numberings are used 1 2 3 and 4 we can change this so in example we uh, we will see that okay so this is order list next is on order list so here instead of ol we are going for ul right and list of items are same okay so the combination of ul and li will makes the on order list here you can also define the type types because in on order list there is no numberings 
because we don't want to maintain a sequence right so what will be the output of this like this order list an order list and definition list so here you can observe the some symbols are there right so these particular symbols are there how many uh, how many possible symbols we have disk circle and a square right so these are the three possible values you can set for the type so we will also see this in example what are the different outputs we'll get now the next important thing is this is known as the definition list or description list you can also sometimes see there is a glossary list right and it is slightly uh, it is slightly different from other list right it contains a two parts one is term and another one is the terms definition right and here as we know that definition list is denoted by dl right it contains a two section one is the dt section and another one is the td section right so data term and data definition or you can say definition term or a data definition right and the main root tag will be the dl the definition list so if you want to go for this kind of list then you have to deal with this particular tags you have to remember this particular tags okay right so <clears throat> this is about the particular definition tags you can see that some basile then a particular definition of this oregano and coriander right so it is the use of it right okay so let's go for the particular example and how we can change the type of this list we will see so first of all uh, we are going to start with the particular unordered list okay so in unordered list we have to go for ul and to maintain the list of items we have a li right so if you see the preview of this then it will looks like this so by default till the circle is there okay and uh, you can see this particular output over here right so it is very simple guys you just need to use ul and li li for list of items and ul you can also make a nested list list into the list right so that is also possible now let's change the type okay so these are the different ways of changing the type so first of all ul this is our root tag here we have a type square right so directly you can use type attribute and you can provide the value so three possible values we have discussed circle disk and square so this will be displayed for the square now let's go ahead this is ul again we can use inline css so this is the syntax for inline css list dash style dash type so this is the property of a list colon remember this is colon and after that you have to just put the value that is a circle okay so this kind of then there is a disk and there is a none for not displaying anything right so these are the three different types let's see how it displays you can see over here it's a square circle and disk right and if you don't want to display any kind of symbols then you just go for the none you can just go for the none so sometimes it will be useful right so with the use of css properties you can make it none right so this is the example for different types of an order list so this is different ways you can put 
the next thing is order list right so this is the syntax for order list first of all we have ol this is our root tag and in between that the number of items you want to display so li is used for right so if i see the preview of this then you can see over here by default it provides the numbering so 1 2 3 up to 12 right so here you can see that it provides the numbering now if i want to change the types right so again we need to go for the type attributes okay one another attribute you can use with the numerical value is a start right so what i want over here by default it is starting from one right so if i normally display without using start it will display one two three and monday tuesday wednesday but numbering i want to start from the fifth so it will display fifth sixth and seventh okay so from where you want to start in a numerical then you can define right you can also define in alphabeticals small or capital you can also define in a roman letter small or capital right so these are the possible types available with ordered list right so now let's look at the preview how it uh, displays the items yes so in a first we have started with the 567 here we have used start attribute extra but in these particular outputs we don't have uh, we didn't use any start so by default what is there so here we start with the small a here we start with the capital a capital roman small roman and it is for the particular again i okay so these are the particular possible types we have for our ordered list right so i hope uh, this particular things are very clear to you each and every one and this is very important right frequently you have to use this kind of list okay i either way okay now the next is i just want to show uh, if i have make there is a description yes i have okay let me open it okay so this is about the description list right so you can see over here in a description list we have dl right so this particular dl is our root tag okay now in this we are going to use two tags so this is the combination of that right one is for data term or definition term and another one is for the description you can see similarly cdma for division multiple access it's a dvd it's a digital versatile disk right so if you observe the output of this program then it will looks like this you can see this particular space is by default there we have not used any spacing over here you can see that okay so automatically it will be there if you observe in a browser then also it looks like this right guys so this is about the particular definition list so we have normally we have three types of list right again let me repeat that one is ordered list then unordered and then definition list right for ordered list we are going to use ol for unordered list we are using ul and for definition list we are using dl this is a root tag in between define for defining the list of items we have allies right and in a dl we have a dt 
for definition term and we have a dd for data descriptions right so it is very easy to remember guys and it is very easy to use some extra attributes we have a type attributes to define a different types and we have a start in ordered list this is one extra attribute in ordered list okay so this is all about list i hope it is very clear to you right now uh, next again one important thing we are going to discuss and that is as a table right so here you can see that many a times we want to display our data in a tabular format okay so that is one use the second use of table is you can divide your web page in a different sections that is second use right if you want to define your tab uh, web page in a different three different set columns okay but nowadays people are not using a uh, table for that divisions because there is a division tag right so now people are using division tag for dividing your web page in a different sections but in older days people were using tables for dividing the web pages okay the next thing next use right so third use of the table is to make your particular web forms in a aligned manner right so whenever in our next session we are going to discuss how to design a forms right so you will see that without using table that particular forms looks messy right but if you want if you can put that particular table or if you put that particular form in a table then it looks very symmetric right so that is the third usage of table okay so we'll discuss that okay whenever we discuss the form but right now let's first learn how you can create a table so for creating a table here you have a root tag that is a table tag right so this is our one table in the particular table we have a different tags right so the most popular and the most frequently used is th tr and td right so what is this for it's for heading this is for row and this is for column okay so if you look at this right then what is this this is one row with three columns right suppose if i want to go for second row three columns then i just need to copy paste this below this so it will create a second row with the three columns so tr denotes the row table row td denotes column and th denotes headings so whenever you put this thing in headings then it will display in a bold manner it will display in a bold manner right so in example we'll see how it looks like now let's also discuss some important attributes right and then we jump on to the example so first of all here we have this particular attribute so one is align attribute to align your table to define where the table should go width attribute the particular width of a table border to define a particular border around this table cell spacing and cell padding this is very important right so cell spacing means a distance between cell so suppose this is one cell this is my second cell so whatever distance in between these two that is known as the cell spacing again the cell spacing means distance between two cell okay next is a cell padding 
so cell padding is the distance between edge of the cell and the cell content suppose here i am writing h1 right so what is this space suppose if i am writing p so what is this space so this particular space is known as the cell padding right so this is very important two attributes guys you have to remember and you have to know the difference between them again cell spacing means a distance between a cell cell padding means a distance between edge and the content edge and the content this distance we are talking about okay so this is a particular example of the attributes how you can use cell spacing cell padding right another two important attributes i want to discuss over here is row span okay and call span so row span is used to merge two rows call span is used to merge two columns so as i only written here two it doesn't mean that it only used to merge twos right you can also merge three columns and you can also merge three rows right so it doesn't matter right but the main use of this is row span and call span so whatever number you want to define i want to merge three rows right that, then i need to write row span is equals to 3 it's very easy already right okay so now here is the example but let's go for our example so you will get the better idea over here we close this okay so as per our discussion i have created this table in a particular you can say html file style right so here let me discuss another two important things how you can generate a table right so first of all i want to define a table so for that i just need to go for a table tag okay so you can see that here table is root element for that table i am going to define border width so two pixel i am going to define style i am going to define ke bhai border spacing is 0 pixel so i will show you the difference between this and border color there is a blue so you can define this particular style into your table if you want to align your table in a center then align attribute is there but as we have discussed earlier many a times align attribute is deprecated right but still people are using it so you should know if i want to align this table in a center then align is equals to center i need to write next thing in html5 as we know that they are helping search engines and seos so for that descriptions here we are going to use a table head so there is nothing to do with the table head if i put it it's okay if i omit it then it's okay right it doesn't make any difference over here right but where it makes the difference whenever your search engine looks for some content whenever you are looking for some content whenever you are inspecting elements right so at that time these particular tags are very useful because it provides the description okay this is header this is body right so here we have a three section header body and the footer right so the header body and the footer okay so t head 
टेबल बॉडी एंड टेबल फुटर सो दिस थ्री टैग्स यू हैव टू रिमेम्बर इफ यू पुट दिस इट्स ओके अगेन इफ यू डोंट पुट दिस देन इट्स ओके इट डजेंट मेक एनी डिफरेंस बट for the description for the search engines you have to go for this it's a good professional style now next i want to create a row so for creating a row i just need to go for a tr tag so this is my first row this is my first row with three headings th th and th here you can see th okay now if you go below then you will find a body so here you can see this is our table body tag in table body we have 1 2 3 and 4 4 rows and each row have three columns each row have three columns okay if you go below then you have a t foot so it's a footer in a footer i'm going to display the total price okay why i have commented this i will show you in a moment but i have three columns over here right okay so let me show you the preview so you will get the idea so this is the layout of my particular table right so here in this particular layout you can see that the first one is table heading so in the program if you go then we have a table heading th th and th so serial number phone model and price we have as a heading after that what i did i am going for body section in body section i have four rows so you can see this is my four rows four rows contains the different serial number phone model and the price but here one twist is there for iphone 11 and 11 max i want to keep my price stay 20000 so i don't need to write 20000 again and again so what i am going to do i am going to merge that two rows right so here what we are doing we are merging two rows so what you need to do you need to use row span is equals to 2 if i want to merge three rows then i need to go for row span equal to 3 but here again i am merging two rows so i am going for row span equal to twos okay now whenever i am putting this row span equal to 2 then if i remove this then see what happens now you see initially i have written 20000 20000 in each row but when i merge this so i don't need to write this unnecessarily because it will create a bad design for my table it will disturb my table right so what i need to do i need to just put or i just need this is for the explanation or you can remove it so you can see now it looks fine so this kind of little bit logic you have to provide whenever you are dealing with the table rest of the tags are very easy but whenever you are going to design a table then you have to provide a little bit logic now next fourth row so iphone 12 price is 30000 we are fine with that now let's come into the footer again so same thing will be happened over here so if i make a call span equal to 2 then it will mismatch my table like this you can see over here it is creating this row column this is column but i don't want that <clears throat> i want to merge a two column so here you can see total price and 
after that i am just putting the sum of this 60000 right so this way you can design a various tables and you can provide a various styles to that particular tables okay are we clear with this guys right so this is a basic yes, structure sir. this is the basic structure you have to remember for the table and you have to follow this structure only if you any assignment example related with the table then you have to follow this particular structure right let me show you one example in that i have not use any table heading table and whatever body and all that then also i am going to create the table so looks nice right but again i tell you that you have to use that so one thing you can notice over here in this particular table you can see this is a simple table but here instead of horizontal heading i have used vertical heading so for that what you need to do you have to make each rows first column as a th so you can see over here in this row this is my th in the second row weight is my th and in the third row i color is my th and after that you can put the columns right okay next thing here cell padding and cell spacing i have provided remember this we have talk about in lecture right so here you can see that this table in a center so align equal to center if i open this in a browser then you can see this particular table is in a center form right okay next thing is background color i don't want to put any color cell padding so 20 pixel so so see here what happens we when i make it zero then this when i make it 50 then this you can observe that guys so what is cell padding cell padding is the distance between the content age of the border and the content this this is the cell padding right so you can observe that next is let me make it uh, 20 again okay cell spacing so i want to make it 20 so you can see so what is cell spacing over here so cell spacing is the distance between these two cells are we clear with this guys right yes, and weird i want to make it as a 50% okay and border pixel is a 2% now here i want to provide this title of the table so caption tag is used so caption tag is used to provide the title again i am using v align equal to top and all that center so these kind of attributes you can use and make table looks a very nice are we clear with this guys okay so this is all about the tables i will give you a different assignments in our lab session for creating the tables